Hello everyone, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to discuss a really important topic in terms of screen flows and rollback record element in Salesforce flow. So without any delay, let's check it out. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a screen flow and with the help of that particular screen flow, I'm going to demonstrate you a concept of uh, Salesforce screen flow and uh, rollback record element. So basically this uh, video is around error handling in Salesforce flows and specifically error handling in Salesforce screen flow. Now in order to show you, I am going to build a very normal scenario I am going to take. This is just for the understanding of the concept instead of a uh, business use case, right? So I'm going to click on create button, click on flow. and click on start from scratch next and select a screen flow over there click create now first of all i am going to add few screens over there so let me drag and drop text component so what i'm going to do i'm going to build three screen one for account information one for contact information and one for opportunity information right so let's say here i'm going to type account name and let's say this is account info that's it let's create another screen text component this time we are going to drop two for first name and last name right now for a screen i'm going to type let's say contact info done and another screen i'm going to create and that is going to be opportunity info and here i'm going to drop let's say text for the opportunity name and the other one let's say closed it because it's kind of a mandatory and the third um so yeah i will directly populate stage over there so let me type it out closed it i am not making these fields mandatory on the input component although you can do because in order to teach you the concept i want to generate few errors and that's what the intention of this video right so what i am going to do i am simply going to click on done now if i click on save let's say rollback records element and this is just a demo flow Yeah, I saved it. Let me show you the debug screen how it actually looks like. So it's like click on run. Here I will simply provide any account name if I click next. And then it will show me the close date. So I hope you get it. Basically, we added three screens, no DML right now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add create record elements because uh, when the user input uh, some values over there we need to create account contact and opportunity right so in the very first approach i am going to use create record element here let's say create contact sorry create account right here i am going to select manually object would be account and here you can see name field is uh, it is basically mandatory field that's why you are seeing account name automatically so from here i am going to select account info and account name because account info is my screen where all the account information is available or provided by the user i will also select this manually assign variables and here i will create a new resource let's say variable that will basically hold the account id data type as text and click done so this account id will store the newly created account id in now similarly i am going to create a contact create contact again manually select contact here i am going to add two more field first name and the third one is account id right because we are going to relate the contact with the account that we just created 
so in the last name simply type last name it will come first name and in the account id the variable that we just created let's say account id now in the same way what i am going to do i am going to use create record element for create opportunity now in this manually i am going to create opportunity and similarly here you can see we have three fields close date with close date name with name and stage let's say i am going to select prospecting i provided a default value here now click let me click on save now let me click on debug so in the very first i want to show you that everything is working fine record are created successfully but here is one thing is missing and that is account id on the opportunity so i am going to provide that as well that's it let me click on save again because i did not activate the flow so we are good so now let me click on debug again now let me click on run so first of all i am going to provide let's say testing account one then i'm going to click next i will provide testing contact one and contact one i will place in the last name let me click on next and let's say testing opportunity close date let's say for future date let me click on yes next so here you can see the flow interview finished so everything will be created automatically and as it is a screen flow so you can see the records in the org now let me go to accounts and try to refresh this list view that is new this week so now you can see testing account if i click in contact you will see testing contact and in opportunity you will see testing opportunity now what if i told you that let's say we got any kind of error while creating the contact right so let's say any error for example last name is missing in this case i am going to forget the last name or basically i will not provide any last name into the input say last name is the mandatory field in contacts right so the flow will eventually fail but here is my question when the contact record fails to create the account record is already created right so it's like account is created contact is not created and everything is done but what is the point of account if the whole process did not capture the contact the opportunity i hope you are getting what i'm like teaching you right now for example the user provided the information in account info then account gets created and it's like saved in the database then on the second screen we provided the input for contact and let's say we don't have the last name of the contact then contacts try to create right and what happens this create contact will throw an error eventually it doesn't create contact but account is already created so how we are going to deal with that and that's what i'm going to tell you in today's video and that's where our concept gets started so first of all as you remember whenever we need to handle the errors in salesforce flow what we have we have default paths similarly for create contact and similarly for the opportunity right now we have three fold path so first of all if create account gets failed like on the very first element it failed to create the account so what i want because i don't i am not creating anything else so there is no point of roll backing the condition or roll backing the transaction right so what i'm going to do i'm simply going to display a screen over there that will say display text and here i'm going to type let's say error message and let's say here flow dot fault message now i'm going to beautify this text flow dot fault message let's say color as red i'm going to keep it in center and let me increase the text as well to 18 let me click on done okay i need to provide the screen name so let's say error screen let me click on done got it so now what i will do in create contact record what i want i want if contact creation is failed i want to roll back the condition or roll back the transaction so that 
account is also not gets created are you getting my point if contact create contact fails to create the contact i also don't need the account i want it roll back the transaction right so in salesforce flow we have one element called rollback records let me click on it and let me type rollback records right this will roll back the transaction and let me click on that so this is very simple you just need to add the rollback uh, record element over there and that's it now in the same way if opportunity fails to create i want account and contact to to also get rollback like because account and contact probably will be created in salesforce right if opportunity fails so what i want these two three account and contact also gets swiped away or you can say not gets created into the org so i will simply click on connect to element and simply connect click on this rollback record so once this failed it will also eventually do the rollback now after rollback i want so what i will do i will simply click on the plus button connect on element and simply join this screen so are you getting my point once the co uh, creation of contact gets failed it will roll back the transaction similarly if create opportunity fails to create the opportunity it will roll back the records or roll back the transaction and after it it will show the error why it got failed now the point is this flow should work fine but here is one more concept that i want to teach you and eventually if what if i told you like this flow will not work so let me show you with the demo let me click on save and let me click on debug now let me click on run so first of all here i am going to provide the testing account two and let me click on next so here we have contact first name and last name right so what if i only provide the first name let's say testing contact two and i am like i know this will throw an error and that's why i i'm not going to provide the last name over there because i want error to be occurred on to my flow and so that i can showcase the demo or so okay or teach you the concept that i want to teach so similarly here you can see last name is null or empty what i am going to do i am going to click on next so ideally account is also not get created into the salesforce right like by seeing the flow here you can see if contact is failed we are doing the rollback record so ideally it should not create the account right let me click on next so here you can see this error occurred when flow tried to create record required field missing last name right so i told you that this flow will throw an error now let me check out the accounts whether the new account is created or not and you will see the account gets created so here you can see testing account 2 now why because there is a concept in screen flow whenever we add a new screen into the flow it will execute a new transaction and this rollback record will only roll back this transaction like from contact info to create contact it will not roll back the account info to contact info are you getting my point like it will only so from account info to uh, create contact right this is one transaction when this account this screen is executed this is started as another transaction so it's like transaction 2 it will again run another transaction so what is happening create account create contact and create opportunity are in three separate transaction here and that's why your rollback record is not working now let me show you with one more demo let me click on debug and click on run let me click on test testing account 
next and this time i am going to provide contact as well so let's say testing contact to so now as you can see i provided the last name as well this time so contact will not throw us an error let me click on next so till now account is created contact is created right now i am going to provide the opportunity details so let's say testing opportunity and so now as you can see i am not providing any close date here and if i click on next i will get an error like okay close date is not provided required field is missing so just want to show you what eventually will happen let me click on next so here you can see this error occurred when flow try to create record required field missing and here you can see the close date right because we did not provide any close date on the opportunity screen what if i told you like account and contact will be there in the org because there are three different transaction right so let me just refresh here you can see testing account three and here you can see the contact as well but you cannot see the opportunity because opportunity gets failed to create now this is a problem right and how we can solve it so basically in this particular video i am teaching you two concept one is how you can handle error in screen flow with a rollback record element right and you also learn one more concept of different transaction so you just need to remember whenever you are using a new screen it will execute a new transaction right so in order to achieve this scenario where if anything fails we want to roll back the entire transaction you need to use these dmls at the end of your flow when i say end that means all the screens should be in the start and then we will basically use the dmls that are create record element in this case so i simply click cut the element from here and paste it after the opportunity info similarly i will do this for the create record for contact and i will place it after the create account contact so here you can see when i did that all the connections of these fault path is removed so what i will do i will simply join them again so connect to element i will join it to rollback record element and after rollback record element i will connect it to the error screen so i hope you get it now if anything fails let's say account is account is failed so it will show us the screen if contact get failed it will also roll back the account creation that means account is not gets created into the salesforce let me click on save again and let me click on debug now let me click on run so let's say i am going to type testing account or click next testing contact and let's say i am not going to provide the last name so it will eventually throw me an error but this time you will not see the testing account for in the salesforce because now they are in a single transaction all the dmls are in the single transaction so it will eventually roll back let me click on next op oh. and close date that's a six let me click next so here you can see this error occurred when the flow tried to create record required field missing last name it is working as usual so everything is fine now let me go back uh, to the accounts to see whether the testing account gets created or not let me refresh so here you can see testing for account is not there and the reason is it gets rolled back so here you can see error handled create contact element encountered an error because this element has a fault path interview execute the elements in the fault path so first of all you are seeing the rollback record so the account that should be created it is not gets created into salesforce because we roll back the entire transaction so i hope you get my point and this is the concept that i want to teach you one whenever you are going to use the screen it will execute a new transaction and how you can use rollback record element in screen flows in a correct way right so these are the two concepts that this video teach you so i hope you get some information from this particular tutorial and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button over our channel and that's it thank you so much i will see you in another video